Okay. This is our owner of the basin tow truck, y'all. Doubling up. It's cold out here in Ohio. It's about 28 degrees. <sighs> y'all, excuse me. I'm trying to get comfortable with the camera. <laughs> Figure I give you guys some content because I got a lot of people asking about it. I may be off the camera, but bear with me. I'm putting all my stuff on three different layers and we're getting ready for the day because the missus is giving me a deadline on getting this truck together for affordable towing. Also known as the basin tow truck. But however, I will just be pretty much recording a lot of my adventures here <laughs> with all this different stuff that I'm doing with these trucks. So I guess stay tuned, watch. I don't know if my lighting is right, but I'm gonna learn some editing skills today and we're gonna try to do all that. And this is gonna be a learning process, I guess. So <sighs> hopefully it works out. All right, people, stay tuned. pictures of it. I forgot how live it is. As crazy as it looks, it might as well deserve a live. We loaded that bitch, dog. I wonder if it ever hit the headache rack. Oh, never moved the inch. Never moved the inch. So, this is our donor frame, donor chassis. 07 F350. Um, tires and wheels are for sale. I'm not sure how big they are. They may be 31s or 32s. I don't know. Uh, I have to look at them. But anyway, we are taking the front end out of this thing. So I'm about to get ready to take it off. Drop this bed real quick and get this puppy off of here. So that's what's going down right now. Off. I don't even think I'm gonna drop the air suspension. I think the heavier the tilt, the easier it's probably gonna roll off. So hopefully that goes well. Get the wheels gone, get them sold, get my money back on some of this. Um, hopefully I break me even and makes my parts free to switch over. So what I'm pretty much gonna be doing is we're gonna use this whole radius arm setup coil. If, there, if those buckets are any good, we're gonna take those and reuse those. Um, but instead of putting a coil here, we're gonna actually put an airbag in there. Um, we're gonna try to do a full size airbag in there. We should have just about enough room to get these big crazy tires off of it. And we're gonna put the dually adapters on it which is gonna space that way out from there. So we should have enough room. We hoping to get the semi bag in there, but if my semi bag won't fit in there, we got another bag that will do the job. And it's almost the same width of this coil spring, but just a little bit fatter. So we're gonna be taking uh, that leaf spring set up on that thing over there and going with the uh, radius arm set up which means I will have to custom mount all this. We're gonna have to redo some stuff and get it aligned, all that good stuff. But so far, these wheels, they, they don't have crazy tread on them, but somebody can get a couple summers out of them. I mean, they don't have any dry rock to them. I mean, they're not actually too bad, but I would recommend a winter on them, maybe some summer stuff. I call a tread maybe 40%, but they sold now, so who cares? But however, I do have this rear end. This rear end is going to be left um, about 115,000 miles. The uh, reason why we ended up with this is it got wrecked over the winter. So they took the body, sold the body, and 
All I really wanted was the front axle, so I got the front axle to change. Then that's going from this leaf spring setup here to over to radius arms. I got to get rid of my leaf springs. It's either that or I'm going to have to make the wrong leaf springs fit in there. We don't want to do that. So my next solution is to go from leaf springs to radius arm. But instead of putting these coils in here, we're going to pretty much take everything from this. This is a F-350, 2007 F-350, might I add. Uh, we're going to use the whole suspension, the front suspension, except for these coils. We're going to replace those coils with uh, semi-truck bags. So that way, the whole, this whole suspension on this truck, this truck's going to be completely bagged when we're done and set. So, it should ride pretty smooth, fairly smooth. So, that is going to be a nice project for our thumbings over here. To take um, leaf springs out of this, well, go 07 radius arms to get these leaf springs off of this truck because the suspension is just extremely too tough in the front. So, get over here, torch my truck up to a little bit of paces. <laughs> I didn't mean to. A little bit of paces. Let's see if I can. She looks pretty pissed, sir. She's not happy. She's not happy at all. She's gonna cooperate, though. She doesn't have a choice. Let me go get the s'mores. I know you made one of them there sticks. Oh. Poof. Poof. Nope, it didn't. This little catch back on fire, ain't it? I thought it was gonna, but the metal must have cooled down right enough already. That is an easier way. You can get to the brackets a little a easier. Lot easier, yeah. We can get, get this. everything out of the way except for the brackets. Yeah. You know what I mean? It'll make life a lot easier. I gotta invest in some jack stands. Hey, look, there's smoke coming from up under the hood. <laughs> it's on fire! Someone please help me. <laughs> help me please! Help me please! Somebody help me! <laughs> oh, if I can get the smoke on there. It's very light. Send smoke signals. Ford does when they break down. <laughs> Ford sends smoke signals when they break down. Yeah. <laughs> Did it move? I don't know. Or is that thing too I big for you? The flame's so bright when I'm cutting, I can't see. Is it too big for the hole? I had the, the you, problem. That's the axle going in, that's the axle coming out. You're live, sir. I'm live. You're live. I hope so. I hope I'm alive. I figure I might as well be a cameraman since I really can't do much. Not much of a torch artist. Torch guy. My man's like, he know what he's doing with that shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit look crazy. Nah, that's my first time. I don't believe you. So it's torching all the uh, rivets off of this axle and leaf springs. And we're gonna roll this whole front end and the body here and go with this one. And also we have the kit. These are the doors that's actually going on there too. But we have the kit here that will convert the older Super Duty to the new Super Duty. So why buy a new truck when they make kits where you can update the uh, old trucks to do what the new trucks are already doing as far as improvements. So this is what we're going to do our bags on and we're probably going to add either these two bags up front or we're going to end up doing the two small ones. I really want to do these two but we have to see how much room we're going to have um, when everything comes out. So he is getting his torch game on right now. So like I said, this front axle right here is the axle going in. It's a radius axle, well, radius arm axle, I would like to call it. Same axle though. 
minus the dually adapters. It's gonna be a project. Probably just leave the wheels connected on it, and roll it on out. Some badass torch work over here. One hand in it. With the hottest gloves known to man. So he had it. With our poor man torches. I'm poor about <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, my bad. Ain't nothing poor about them. <laughs> With our ball of torches. I, right. I correct my language. <laughs> the baller ass torches, B. Oh, shit. Where's that sludge? Oh, uh, where is the sludge? That's a good question. Sledgehammer, yeah. Oh, shit. Sludge hammer, sludge hammer. Our messy garage. The garage where magic happens. Yeah. A lot of retarded magic, son. Yeah, we pulled off some miracles. <laughs> yeah, we have pulled off some miracles. We have pulled off some miracles in this here little uh, garage. Dude, I could have swore I seen that sludge land in the ground somewhere. And I know I've walked over it being lazy as shit. You hear me? Huh? He's, he's gonna say, how does this affect my 20 miles per gallon? <laughs> this actually has nothing to do with my mileage uh, per gallon right now. Um, this is actually getting rid of a stiff ass ride that we can't do nothing about because there's no other leaf spring options other than hacking up the new leaf springs or the new super duties to go on here, which I really don't want to do. So the easiest way is to update the front suspension. Right now we have... The easiest way. Yeah, it's the easiest way. So this has nothing to do with miles per gallon. This is not going to give me any better fuel economy by switching the front axle. <laughs> yeah, you say what? <laughs> well, my guy says still gets better than 13, though, either way. But anyway, um, what we got going on is now that we got this air ride back here, and it rides soft, but the problem is the front rides rough as hell. So we have to match the front with the back. So. We got these bags in the rear, which rides awesome. Then we're gonna do the same in the front. And the easiest way to do that is to go to a radius arm setup and get rid of the leaf, springs. Rid of the leaf springs all together. So there'd be no more leaf springs on that truck at all, other than like the, what you would call a mono leaf. So this is the kit that converts all that over. So that way everything's done right. You have new coil buckets. You got new traction bar arm. Well, I like to call a pan hard bar mount. And you got new radius brackets that will take this older truck over to the newer style. Uh, that holds the back of the radius arms. And the new pitman arm from the older gearbox to the, near, the newer um, inner tie rod end that goes for the newer 07. And also the brackets for the sway bar, which I have not yet to buy yet, and all tie rod in and other suspension parts that I will have to buy. And this is also a alignment that goes in the inside of the frame. So, we still ain't found it. Oh, you see, I told you she might have put it up somewhere. He finally, finally found the sludge. It was sitting right there. We walked past it a thousand times. So he's smacking his things and the axle should drop. Well at least the back end. A lot that he has sludged off. But yeah, nothing to do with my miles per gallon. Uh, this is more to do with the quality of the ride and actually not trying to break a frame. Um, sometimes when stuff is a little too hard, you get the breaking shit. So we want to avoid breaking it. 
and get a comfortable ride so I'm not beating my, my customers up. So even though uh, these are overkill and even the bags that's on there is rated for 40,000, these are also rated for 40,000 as well. These are rated for 11,000. So, but they have built-in bump stops in it. I believe these ones have built-in bump stops, but I have to do more research. These are also the, the Triangle Bag 17.5s. So, like I said, this kit right here was about 1,600 from RYD Sports, uh, Motorsports, that's what it's called, RYD Motorsports, Motorsports or whatnot, I'm fucking their name off. But I'll probably put a link up or something. But look at the welds, though. Nice welds. I'm loving the quality, man. He did nice welds. And this was all done by hand. All done by hand. And CNC bent, too, as well. All made from scratch. Break <coughs> right oh, Flat stock. Look at them sexy ass welds. Oh, some pretty welds. Especially these, I like how he, how he did these. Look at that. Dimes all the way. That's some sexy stuff. I, th I think I got my money worth. I'm not even mad about spending it. I think we happy about that. Still not falling? I got a little, a little more metal hanging on. I need to cut. Mm. I'm over here bragging about the kit over here. Pretty. <laughs> it is. It's so pretty. I can just sit here and stare at it. I've been thinking about what color I'm going to paint it. Black. Black it out? Yeah. That makes more sense. Probably. Just go ahead and black it out. Hot pink. Hot pink. <laughs> yeah. I got to show off the whales one more time, though. The whales is just so sexy. Miller 252, dude. We have to look that shit up and see how much that water is. I don't like he didn't do a line right there. Oh, okay. He did a line on the outside. He did both of them like that. Man, would you agree it was worth the money? I mean, that takes all the math out of putting a newer axle in, an older Super Duty. Yep. Not to mention a uh, year uh, 87, 88, all the way up to 99. You can go ahead and update them all the way up to the newer one. Coil buckets and all. It's supposed to be coils, but I don't want to use the coils. Hopefully, we don't have to use the coils. Hopefully, we get away with putting the bags in it. Huh? Hornets are back out. They're coming out of the... We sprayed them the other day. Yeah, but they're coming out of the one of those control levers. They're, they're in one of those holes. I've been watching them go in and out. Oh, uh, man. I sprayed the fuck out of them, but they're back. Ugh. Yeah, we just, she just went and got her bee spray. We got to get this truck up and going. The bee going to take it over. Hey, that's just another sign that this truck's been sitting way too long. Yep, now look. The hornets are all over my area. Oh, yeah. Some of the new mountains cleaned up. Nice and clean. So, gotta be on the bottom of the frame there. We still got this to put up. Well, this much go right up in here. And that's all cut and gone. So, and this is our new axle. Well, I wouldn't call it new, but it's newer than this. This is our 07 axle. So we're going to radius arms. This is what we're going to. No leaf springs. And this is the old, the old setup. Oh, we still at it. Still busting it down. Got our new parts land here. 
I did some more welding on this door today. So, got a whole new door seam welded on here. Get a little better on my welds. Which, this door seam uh, eventually look like that door seam over there. So we at it. She coming along. We think we may have got the problem squared away with that truck. But that's where we at so far. Everything took apart, no wax under it. Everything's open. I'm ready for all the new stuff to go in. As you see, we we have no shop. Backyard, backyard get down. <laughs> My man's got the torches over here. Still looking good down there? Shit getting real. Oh yeah, it's gonna be badass. Especially with the we get the airbags and stuff in there. Oh, hold that there. Prying off uh, an extra reinforcement plate that was put in there a while ago. Yeah, he the shit out yes, of he him. did, Mr. PJ Moore. Uh, 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 or, or should I say, free my nigga PJ Moore. <laughs> Is he still locked up? He's still locked up, man. I, I think he's still locked up. Yep, but, but free my guy PJ. So I gotta look in tie rod ends. All these tie rod ends on here are bad. That'll be the next move. And these are my wooden door panels I'm working on, which I oh, I can't wait to get the six and a half mids in there. I think I've shown it. That's all the stuff that that goes for my mids and the new upgrades with the amps. Um, hybrids. We're actually going to put some hybrid um, amps in there. Uh, I've been skeptical of trying hybrids, but. I ain't got no space and I need the wattage. So, can't wait to get that done. Um, this door has been modified for the wood to actually mount to it. About three, probably three layers of 80 mil and the whole door of sound detonant as well. And that's another reason why we had to beef up these seams because the music would break the seams at the bottom of the door, even though these Fords really don't have they, they never really had strong door seams at the end. So we went from a door seam that was ooh, damn near one inch thick. Tough. So pretty much you can call it a, it's a hard body door now. Along all the way to the, the edge. Got a little body filler I gotta knock off of there. But it's all stealth, man, like strong. Once again, those are the bags we may be using. Right? So we already got bags in the rear to be completely bagged all the way around. I know I'm about, to, I'm about to show this rear airbag system. I love showing this off. See that way to the front. Can't wait to work on this thing. This is the Mrs. Tow Truck. She want me to get her truck together. But this is what we trying to do to the front, pretty much. Get a right deflection. We got frame deflection going on. So, only way to do it is to get rid of these stiff ass front leaf springs, which is gonna make all the difference. So, it should. I think it really should. I mean, out of all the stuff I've seen about people complaining about the older Super Duties, it was the leaf spring option. That's that's why, uh, matter of fact, and let me get that too. I'm glad you brought that up. Where is the manual? This is the company that I bought the kit from. So, this, if you got an older truck, um, it says 92 to 96, but it will work from 80, 87, 86, all the way to 99. No, 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 96, because 96 was the end of the OBS, 96, 97. So, this is all the parts that we're putting on here. Uh, I think the kit was like 14, 1500. So, those are the coil brackets, not coil brackets, but coil buckets that came with it. And it, it, it gives you a whole breakdown on how to do it, how to get it together. Yeah, hey, air ride seats, man, I was thinking about it, trust me. 
Hopefully that would be nice if I could, but I, if I do air ride seats, it would have to be custom. So this is the whole breakdown. It gives you, you know, how to put it in, what drill make, what holes you gotta make. Um, this is the track bar. The whole breakdown, man. I'm just scrolling through it for y'all. Just tell me what I gotta get out of here. So, I got mosquitoes fighting with just skimming through this. But those are the, the radius arm brackets, which I just showed. Uh, let's see. It's pretty much what it'll look like once it's on there. I mean, they give you everything, breakdown for everything. It's pretty nice. You just gotta pay the money, but it's it's nice. So this is some of the pieces here. I have to take this out here. See how that mounts up. I'm still bragging about these welds. I really love the way those welds came out. Sway bar bracket will go cut. Nice welds on it again. Beautiful welds, man. And we got the new Pitman arm. That's gonna convert the older gearbox over to the 07. So that takes you from the older AB, OBS over to the 07, well actually 05 and plus. So that's some of it there. So this is pretty much some of our guide. You say what? You like that sound? Oh, you dropped it, sexy. You know, What's that? Like you didn't touch the frame. You didn't. Oh, let me see. Inspect it, sir. Oh, man, you's a bad man. <laughs> you's a bad man. I, oh, man, that is nice. So now we just got to gra uh, ground, I mean, grind all that slag off. Oh, you didn't touch the frame at all. I was really worried about that. I thought she was going to get the frame. So I got some grinding ahead of me. Oh, yeah, a lot. Oh, oh man, that is sexy. At least I got it out without touching the frame. Ugh, I better get these pieces off the This is yeah. one of the pieces, people. <sighs> Which pretty much goes from here. Goes on the back of this thing here. It kind of sits over this. Just like that. <sighs> wow, so you got that one to go. Yeah. Yeah, I still got that other bracket. So that... That puts us in the game with at least mounting our radius brackets. One step closer to the radius brackets, people. And figure out what, uh, what that's so far along, though. So far along. I think I did a nice update video. I think I scurried around everything. Pretty sure I'll probably get a bunch of crazy questions, but I'm gonna I'm scroll. I'm gonna scroll through this book so they see it one more time. This is the company. If you want to put a, a newer front end, or should I say convert from leaf spring to radius arm, or coil, should I say, but I'm not going to use the coils. Hopefully, I don't have to use the coils. Um, yeah, we're going to squeeze them bags in there. They even give you the all the bolts and stuff that it came with, all that shit. I mean, it's, it's detailed, man. What else am I missing to put on here? I think that's it. That's where we at right now. Yeah, we've been busy. My guy from New York been asking about updates. So this yeah. Henry, uh, my guy Henry, the one that sold me the big boy truck, the big yellow. Oh yeah. Yeah. So th this is where we at, man. man it took. Have to work on that thing. Yeah, I know. I was just telling Tasha the other day. So this is the old bracket, the old bracket that hold the leaf springs in. So the last two bolts here, that comes off of the frame, which is right there. These two holes here is what mounts to those radius arms in return will do oh you know what i should be doing a dry fit right now sure. to, yeah, to kind of see if we if i yeah. need to remove more i need to remove more but i don't i think i went far enough yeah well yeah this will tell us definitely if you went far enough, I didn't go far enough it's an inch, you know? right <laughs> hopefully it's just freaking perfect so let me see if i can sit this camera down <sighs> That's what we need, man. We need a freaking wish we'll call it a, a tripod. It'd be nice to have a tripod to do this shit with. Or maybe you should hold it. <laughs> you be my cameraman for a minute while, while I size this up in here. We'll see how sexy we can get this. Uh, 
<laughs> right there. Yeah, we're moving off. Ah, uh, nope. You gotta come back a little bit more. All right. Uh, just not, yeah, just like you said, maybe an inch. Yeah, I was kind of worried about it. Maybe a fucking inch, but those holes line up perfectly, though. Yep. So, uh, maybe I should be looking at. Uh, woo! Well, that's cool. Just a, lot of, just a lot of weld to clean up, a little more metal to remove. Yeah, a lot of slab. I'm, I'm impressed you didn't cut that frame. Yeah, I told you I wouldn't touch the frame. And you know we messing up, right? Cause there's no music on for be working on that damn diesel. <laughs> but that's that's we doing good so far. So if we get that cut off, get that cut off, and we got a nice big bag of bolts of hardware that I gotta go through. It came with all his own hardware and all that good stuff. So I think I'm about to end this live. I think that's all the updates I got at this very moment. Uh, we're trying our best to get this done before that 29th show in Erie. That uh, that audio show. Yeah, I, I, I believe it's going to be done. I think we're probably going to have more problems with just getting them in the tie ride ends and who we're going to get them from. But I guess that's it. I guess I'm going to end this live. Deuces, people. Thanks to all the people that's watching and watching our little pro I'll do it one more time before I leave. This is the old setup, Lee Spring. Rolled pretty rough, which is the problem that I had. Rolled so rough that it gave me frame deflection. So if everybody want to know why I'm doing this, it's mainly because of frame deflection and a better ride. This thing rides like a wagon. So now it's gonna ride like a Yeah, it's gonna ride like a Cadillac. Yeah, it's gonna ride like a lac now. So leaf spring, well radius arm. From leaf spring axles just different configuration as far as hookup radius and coils versus leaf that frame though yeah i'm impressed i'm impressed i didn't think it was gonna cut that clean i'm impressed so deuces people that's the end of this video deuces